that by the end of today, half of Twitter staffers could be out of a job. Just days after his $44 billion takeover, Elon Musk announced he is slashing the social media giant's workforce in an effort to ensure the company's successes moving forward. NBC News technology correspondent Jake Ward joins us now from San Francisco. Jake, look, half of the staffers, you know, what does that really mean? How many people are we talking about? What does that look like numerically? And why does Musk think this is the right approach to help the business? Well, Morgan, the number seems to be roughly 3,700 people waking up this morning, getting a cup of coffee and finding out that they have been fired. That's half the workforce of Twitter. We have Musk at an investment conference this morning seeming to confirm that number with an interviewer. And so it's just, you know, real blood on the floor at Twitter. You know, at the same time, we are also seeing, a, you know, a, a huge amount of just uh, despair among Twitter employees, you know, who speak out on the platform they have just been fired from, uh, you know, uh, just so concerned about sort of the future of this platform, which, as you know, is this, you know, huge platform for political speech, all sorts of communications. Now, why is he doing this? It has everything to do with cutting costs, right? This company is essentially going to owe about a billion dollars a year in interest on the debt that Musk took on in order to acquire it. He is desperate to pay that debt down, especially as inflation drives the price of that debt up. And so he's taking every step he can, it seems, to cut things as quickly as possible. But, you know, we've really never seen cuts happen as quickly at a tech company as this one. So when we look at sort of the broader picture here, Jake, we're, we're just days away from the midterms and an event that experts have actually referred to as the Super Bowl of misinformation. So is Musk and frankly now his much smaller staff really equipped to handle that? I mean, this is the tremendous concern that we're hearing from inside Twitter and from academics and experts who are looking at it from outside. I mean, if you are a political leader right now and you want to get information out, you, this is how you do it. And if you are a troll who's trying to disinform the public, that is really how you do it. And some of the teams that were really central to Twitter's efforts to fight that stuff, including one team that literally studies algorithmic amplification of things like misinformation, they are gone. They are all fired this morning. And so, wow. you know, with a staff that is half the size that Twitter was yesterday, it is not at all clear how we're going to deal with misinformation, especially now that as of Monday, you're going to be able to supposedly pony up 8 to $10 and get a blue check <coughs> verification, uh, you know, a, a little stamp next to your name. We're already seeing people impersonate Elon Musk this morning, and it is hard to tell the difference. Just imagine when someone begins trying to impersonate someone like Donald Trump or anyone else going into the midterm week. All of this stuff, I think, is about to get very, very ugly and very very complicated morning. Very complicated and also unfortunately very timely with those midterms around the corner. NBC News technology correspondent Jake Ward, excellent reporting. Thanks so much, Jake. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.